Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to a very important episode of Dire News, episode 64. Um, this is very important security notification about modded Minecraft players and Minecraft players in general. Anyone who plays Minecraft needs to pay attention to this video if you're not already aware of the security or vulnerability that was announced and released last night. So in this video, I'm going to cover what the security vulnerability is, how you can mitigate it and protect yourself, and finally, uh, more technical details about what it is and how it works. So let's jump in immediately to talk about what's going on and what you guys need to know. So a few days ago, an exploit was released in a library that many Java applications, including Minecraft, use. So this is not a bug in Minecraft, it's a bug in a commonly used library in Java. It allows for what's called remote code execution, which means that somebody or anybody will be able to execute code on your computer. It's the most common attack vector for viruses to get in. It's unfortunately very, very easy for people to infect your computer with this code vulnerability, especially if you play Minecraft on servers, because all it requires is a specially crafted string of text to be received by your client, including through text chat. Long story short, if you're playing on a public server at the moment, vanilla Minecraft, modded Minecraft, whatever, and someone pastes a specially crafted string in chat, your computer can get a virus. It is absolutely that serious. So how can we resolve this or protect ourselves from this potentially happening? So for vanilla players, those of you who play vanilla Minecraft and use the Mojang launcher, whether it's the new launcher that recently came out or the old one that's, you know, was was available as of a few months ago. Um, all you have to do is close your game if it's currently running, launch the launcher, and it'll automatically update your game and protect you. So if you play vanilla, next time you launch Minecraft, you're going to be okay. If you're playing modded Minecraft, including Forge, Fabric, Paper, and a couple other APIs that are out there, you will not be automatically protected if you're using the vanilla Minecraft launcher, the native Mojang launcher. It's very important that you'll need to update your version of Forge. In the description of this video, there's a link to a tweet with all the versions that you should update to, depending on what version of Forge you're playing. Um, so pay attention to that. Uh, for Fabric and Paper and those other APIs, check their respective communities uh, to find out how to update them. That said, if you're using some third-party launchers, they may automatically protect you. That'll be covered in the next segment. If you're using third-party launchers, some are being automatically updated, others are not. I can tell you that MultiMC has been automatically updated. If you're using MultiMC to play vanilla or forge modded instances, close it, relaunch your instance, and it should automatically apply the fix. The same can be said for the FTB app. If you're using the new FTB app through the Overwolf client, you will be resolved by using that. Um, other third-party launchers, for example, CurseForge, I don't believe has implemented a fix yet. There are many other launchers out there. Check with their communities to find out if they've implemented a fix. If you're not using one of the launchers I just mentioned and you're not sure if your launcher is protected, the next segment now will explain how to update Forge or use a solution authored by Creeperhost to help protect you. To be clear, if you're using MultiMC, or the FTB app through Overwolf, you're already protected and do not need to apply these changes that I'm about to talk about. If you play with Forge, new versions of Minecraft Forge have been released going back to 1.12. So every version from 1.12 to 1.18 has a new version of Forge available, which protects against this exploit. The simplest solution is update your version of Forge. This goes for both server owners on your servers and for clients, players playing on their modded client. Um, so quickly update your Forge version, do it as soon as possible. Don't join any public servers until you've updated your game. Don't join any servers at all unless you absolutely trust the people on them not to try to, you know, infect your computer with a virus. Alternatively, I know some of you are probably playing uh, mod packs and, and playing on things that may not support newer versions of Forge for one reason or another. An alternate solution has been authored by Creeperhost, uh, and they've made another way to work around this exploit. It requires downloading um, a, a jar file and modifying the JVM arguments that you launch Minecraft with. Um, it's not too complicated to do, and it's definitely a good solution if you're using a mod pack that can't be updated uh, with the newest version of Forge. 
If you're playing other modded launchers like Fabric, or I think there's one called Paper and a couple others, um, go to those communities. They, I believe, have also been updating their um, modded uh, APIs to support the fix that will prevent this from happening. So just head over to those communities and, and they should uh, have some posts somewhere stickied about you know how to get this fixed for them. In the description of this video will be links uh, to several Twitter posts, to a Minecraft.net post that details uh, you know Mojang and Minecraft's response to this problem. Uh, there will also be a link to the uh, CVE, the exploit, that details how it works and, and what happens for those of you who are more technically minded and interested in it. Uh, there will also be links um, to the Creeper host solution that I mentioned, how to get and, and use that. So look in the description of this video, there's going to be a lot of links that point you to how to solve this for you. Uh, absolutely trust me when I tell you that you do not want to join any public servers without this fix applied in your client. This is absolutely serious. So now that I've given you guys the important need to know information, let's chat a little bit about what this exploit is and how it works. Uh, in Java, there's a commonly used logging tool that just basically writes logs. If you've ever looked at a, at a Minecraft log or a debug log from Forge to try and figure out why your game crashed, it was written by the Java component known as log4j. This has been around for years, lots and lots of Java applications, both on the internet and everywhere, use this. This is an extremely popular and well-known tool, um, and it's also used in Minecraft. No big surprise, because Minecraft is written in Java. Well, at least the Java version. And uh, so so the, an exploit was discovered a few days ago that with a specially crafted string that gets written to the log using the logger can cause the logger's um, application to basically do a server lookup to try and look up information, and then that will cause the, the logging tool, the log4j tool, to download a class, a Java class file, to the computer and, and inject it into the server process, which is basically a long way of saying that if somebody's smart, and I'm sure people are already exploiting this, they can cause the logger tool to download a malicious payload and cause it to execute code that will install a virus, take over your computer, all the bad things can happen. Um, so unfortunately, what this means is anytime the logger records in the log this specially crafted string, it will cause this exploit to happen. Very importantly, it should be noted that every chat message on a server or even in single player is logged in the logger. If you open up your chat here and type test, that is logged through this logging tool into the logger. So. Long story short, if you're on a Minecraft server and somebody pastes the bad malicious code into the text chat, which is a very small piece of information, by the way, it easily fits on a single text line, uh, your logger will log it, the exploit will be exploited, and your computer may download this malicious code, which will cause a virus. It's just as bad as it sounds. It really is. And that's why I'm being very serious and trying to urge you guys to be aware of this exploit. Um, so absolutely read the details um, from the Minecraft.net article in the description of this video that tells you how to resolve it. Uh, read the details on the tweets that I'm putting down there that tells you how to fix it for your modded versions. Like I said, if you can upgrade the version of Forge that you're using in your mod pack currently, that's one way to solve it. Or you can go with the Creeper host solution. That's another way to solve it. Uh, I'm told that the FTB app the one that's currently available through Overwolf, the new FTB app, automatically for every mod pack you launch through the FTB app, implements the CurseForge solution. So you no longer, if you're using the FTB app, you're pretty much protected out of the box. My understanding is uh, the CurseForge team. So if you use the CurseForge app, they're investigating this and hopefully they will automatically implement it in the future. Um, you know, but Basically, pay attention to this and stay tuned, right? Like, you want to be aware that this is a thing. If you join public servers with thousands of people on them, um, you may, you know, somebody could do something very bad. So be aware that this exists. Um, be cognizant of it. For now, if you're not sure, um, you know, just be very careful logging into public Minecraft servers. That's the best recommendation I can give you. For now, Doll20 signing off. Uh, if, if more information comes to light, I will make another video like this to give you guys more details. Uh, but for now, just be safe and take it easy.